Hi, very good evening to all of you. Uh, it's me and Nisar again. Myself, Shripad Madalkar, and uh, you all know Nisar. Uh, today, we are going to uh, talk about one of the key components of UiPath. And uh, that's going to be uh, like in a, in a brief series. So today will be the episode one. And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, this particular component more of uh, sitting in the discover phase. Now, uh, why we have selected this particular component today is, is often when we uh, are interacting with the customers who want to go ahead and uh, look at RPAs and uh, you know, automation program that they want to uh, you know, introduce in their own organization, they've always come back with questions on, uh, you know, how am I supposed to start RPA? Uh, what are the key ideas or, or, or the key use cases that I should automate? Uh, uh, from where should I get these particular processes? And uh, finally, how am I supposed to look at the cost benefit analysis, which would uh, you know, help me further take a decision on a particular program to be introduced? And I'm pretty sure that everybody would have these particular questions in their mind. Uh, especially uh, when you're taking this, uh, you know, technology program uh, with your senior management and uh, they always look at numbers and that is your ROI and the cost benefit analysis that you would be delivering because of this program. And when you get a tool uh, or a component which is provided by UiPath, which tells you that these are the savings and this is how you would uh, invest and this is when you're going to expect a particular return then that's going to be like a win-win situation for you and it's going to be so simple to show it back to the leadership to ensure you have a, a beautiful program running for you now with this idea we are going to kick start with automation hub episode one okay and uh, just to excite you more uh, uh, if if you get a tool which which goes ahead and gets you a lot of ideas because of the power of crowdsourcing. That means employees of your organization sharing ideas for automation. Once these ideas are shared by your employees who would be contributors, and if this tool keeps on inspiring them to contribute more and more, imagine you are able to centrally manage your entire automation pipeline and at the same time use the data to prioritize the automation tasks or missions itself of your entire pipeline. Whilst you're doing this, you're able to control and map the entire ROI analysis, the cost benefit analysis and prove it back to management that this is what I'm getting out of automation. Further, to scale up, if this tool starts generating documents on its own, for your developers as well as for business. And finally, if this tool starts giving you reusable components as a repository, just imagine what are you driving at your end. You're driving a complete hyper automation, okay, from a perspective of process discovery. I'm not talking about the entire hyper automation with the development and bit, but in the process discovery itself, you're scaling up with your automation ideas and you're getting up to the level wherein you're prioritizing your pipeline, but also showing ROI back to business. If this is what you're looking at, then let's start turning great ideas from anywhere and everywhere in your organization into great automations with more control, faster implementation and impact. Now let's look at how this can be done. I have my dear friend Nisar with me on the line who would help us take us through Automation Hub and how should we submit our first idea to kickstart this session. Over to you Nisar. Thank you so much Sripad. Thank you so much for this wonderful introduction to Automation Hub. So today we are going to get started with the first step in the Automation Hub. So let's log in first. And this is how Automation Hub dashboard looks like. So as of now, I don't have any automation ideas submitted here. So I have to submit an idea and here you can see there are two options which are available to submit an idea. 
as we have two options so one is employee driven and another one is coe driven where authorized users have ability to submit the idea and bypass the approval flow however as a developer i can submit a employee driven idea so today i am going to show showcase and submit an idea which is going to be resume screening for that i am going to utilize a sample data set which is this where i am going to ask candidates to submit the data in a format in this format when candidate submits the data this is complete digital format and we scrape the data out of this particular format from pdf and then submit this details into crm application as a data backend so this process is pretty clean and we are going to submit this as a sample idea in the automation hub for the introduction so shripad let's get started so the first idea i'm going to submit is by clicking on the employee driven and then i have an idea for automation so i'll just click on let's get started now once i click on let's get started the first question which i have asked is please provide a short description of the task process that you would like to propose for automation so i would like to propose a resume screening with automation or i can just say resume screening and capturing candidate details so does it sound good shripal yeah Your short description yep sounds good so as you can see there are nine questions so let's see we have submitted first question then we have the second what is the name of the task or a process that you would like to recommend for automation okay so shripal what would you like to suggest for name so you you could name it like a recruitment uh, process automation so let's name it as recruitment process automation and let's submit now we have a third question help us position your idea in the hierarchy and that's wonderful because it is asking re relevant questions while submitting an idea now let's see if we have our domain in it so we are going to utilize hr which is human resource and the category of automation would be recruit and onboard employees am i right yeah and then we have automation sub category also that's wonderful so in a sub category we have create job posting source candidates screen candidates and we have our exact requirement which is screen candidates okay so let's proceed with the positioning your idea in the hierarchy and now i can see there is some picture representation so the question is how rule based is your task so what do you think shripad in terms of rule based yeah i think I it's think pretty it is rule. pretty rule yeah exactly so as it's a uh, document processing where data is you know specific format we selected pretty rule based so i think comment is not mandatory but it's a good habit to give a comment so let's give it one shot and then say next how would you like to describe the input data for your task or process so the input data is nothing but candidates resume which is in a pdf format which they are going to submit over email address or email which we are going to capture from email so email and pdf and then storing into data so everything is pretty much digital so i am going to select very much digital what is your recommendation shripad no it should be very much digital because pretty much digital is not going to help is because nowhere we it's going to be a handwritten or a paper based exactly so yeah so we are going to deal with email candidates resume which is going to be a pdf and database so everything is digital and i'm going to leave a comment at that and let's jump on to the next question which is the sixth question down the line how would you describe the structure of your input data so the structure of input data as we discussed we are taking uh, we are asking candidates to enter their details in a specific format of our recruitment policy which is going to be pretty much structured or what do you want to I, give it? no i think you should keep it a mix between structured and unstructured is because uh, it's uh, the email is also coming into play and uh, data through email is always unstructured right have a structure so, yeah. So, yeah 
Yes, right. So the data could be sometimes structure or what not. So we, we don't know whether people or candidate are going to enter the data in the correct fields. So let's keep it a structured and structured. So based on candidates, email response, we are going to keep it a mix between structured and unstructured. And then we have a next question down the line, which is, are you aware of any expected changes? to the way you currently perform this activity or process in the following six months. So I, I think it should be minor change expected. Yes, because we yeah. might change uh, entering into database or we might change yeah. acceptance of resume. We might change from email to our own platform where you know, a candidate can upload. So we're expecting minor changes as per process change might be needed in future. And with that, we are at the second last question, which is nothing but do you have any documentation regarding this process activity? And I think this is really wonderful. So it's actually giving us option to upload documents. So if so, select which category the documentation fits. Attaching files is optional, okay? So this is an optional question. Detailed work instruction, standard operating procedure, task or process map or flow charts, Input file, output file, and miscellaneous files. So as of now, I have an input file, which is a sample resume. So I can, let's give it a try and attach. I can add a file or I can drop it here. So let's try dropping the file and drop my resume here. So this is one of the sample. And I'll name the sample as sample document or sample input document. The file type is input and the description is a sample input sample candidate resume and I'm going to add it. That's wonderful. So I have added and I can attach one more. So I think we can attach multiple documents and also we can attach some other data also. And I think we can attach it later also. So as of now I have added a sample candidate resume and let's jump on to the last question. Let's say next. Over to the last question. So please indicate the email address of process owner from your organization. So what do you want to keep it, Sripath? As of now, in our organization of Automation Hub, uh, I have added you as a manager and I am a RPA developer. Okay. Let's go ahead with uh, with myself. It's, uh, I, I don't see any challenge. So let's go ahead with Sripath as the process owner and we'll finish and we'll submit this idea. So let's see what interesting thing would happen after submitting an idea. So let's click on next. And we have a review your idea. So it gives us overall brief before submitting finally, which is nice thing, which gives us all the questions. Question one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And let's submit. Yep. So here we go. And we have submitted the idea. And there's some meter I can see, which indicates some percentage. Shripad, so what is this meter, which is indicating a 72%? So, so this meter is like a measurement, which tells you that this particular process suitability is 80%. And the readiness of this particular process to be automated is 60%. Why 60% is because you need a problem process flow you need to understand the steps okay right and hadn't we updated the documentations okay it would have uh, the meter would have gone ahead okay but we are going ahead and uh, you know sharing the real life examples hence this is an app if you're getting a 72 percent score that means it's it's going to be one of the better processes to be automated that's yeah. good yeah and as we can see, as we have submitted our idea, we see the next step is automatically generated, which is nothing but creating a new process document, PDD with a task capture. And this next process we are going to see in next episode, which is episode two. So before we close out, I'm able to see there's a submit another option and my workspace. So let's jump onto my workspace and we can see that we have submitted one idea and it is awaiting for a reviewer to review the idea. And then we will proceed with the next step in the episode two. So over to you, Sripath, for further closing. Cool. So uh, 
now that you have made me the reviewer, I will go ahead and review this particular process. And by the next session that we would kickstart, uh, we would have some thoughts around the approval base uh, uh, of this particular automation idea and uh, how we would go ahead and do the task capture for this particular process. So uh, we would look forward uh, to have this particular session as episode two very soon and uh, would request viewers as well as our friends in the community to await for the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe, guys. Thank you. Bye. Happy Bye. automation.